Good morning, YouTube. So, it's about 5.20 in the morning right now. I just got done sending my check-in pictures to my coaches. Saturday mornings, we always check in. I send them my um, morning weight, morning fasted weight, and my progress picks for the week so they can make adjustments to the plan. They usually have that back over to me by Sunday, so Tomorrow we will have this week's adjustments ready to attack the week. But like I said, it's 5.20. I'm about to eat the first meal of the day, um, which is, I know it's early, but I'm usually up between like, sometimes I'm eating the first meal as early as 3.30 just because I wake up hungry. But um, yeah, it's a little bit later this morning. Anyways, on a different note, I hit a new low way in this morning, 171.2. That means we are almost exactly 20 pounds down from where we started, which is crazy to think about. 20 pounds is a lot of weight. And wow, it never stops amazing me how I look at five in the morning. <laughs> but first meal, you already know. You already know I'm incorporating the almond butter yeah yeah and then we got 60 grams of quick oats yes sir need them and then what else we gonna do yeah and then we gonna get us a little you know what i'm saying a little protein shake i'm so glad they added protein back in the uh, <laughs> i'm so glad they added protein back into my meals um i missed it for the two months I didn't have it. But I'm gonna whip this up. Usually, this would be the time where I eat my pre-workout meal, go to the gym in about 45 minutes to an hour. But since I'm gonna lift with Caden later today, um, I'm probably gonna try to take my ass back to sleep just so you know. More sleep on prep is never really a bad thing, especially when you're not getting the greatest quality. So I'm gonna whip up this meal. Uh, maybe watch a YouTube video or two and I'm going to get back in bed and I will see you guys when I see you guys in whatever the next clip is. But I just want to welcome you back to three, three week out video. Obsessing over Chick fil A. I was at my dude's uh, little family function the other day and they had Chick fil A there, and it's been two and a half months since I've had it, rolling on three. And Chick fil A was something that I went a lot through, I went through a lot of phases of eating every single day and i mean every day and like that shit was not friendly on my pockets but like it was every day and like i haven't gone as long as i've gone on this prep um without eating it ever since i first started eating it when i was 15 like you i promise you guys don't get it like me like i have like a chick-fil-a addiction and it really hasn't like been bothering me up until the last couple of days and like i need it <laughs> that's gonna be one of the first things i devour after my show um yeah i'm thinking about that number one with a large fry and ooh, the ranch with the ranch need it do you know what i'm craving more than that a trophy a first place trophy the satisfaction knowing that i put all this damn effort and sacrifice in Hey, we working. 21 days out, we working. All right, so I just made another trip to GNC, and I promise I'm there so much, especially on this prep. Seems like I'm there like a smooth, like at least once a week. But I got some good shit. Okay, so like, let me be, let me be 
straight up and completely honest. This, the peanut butter cereal milk that ghosts make, hands down, not even close, without a doubt, the best protein powder I've ever had, and it's not even close. So good. And I'm like, I've been drinking the Nutter Butter. It's just what I had in my cabinet. And it's finally gone. And like, don't get me wrong, like it's good. I like it. But like, there's nothing like this one. So I'm really glad I got that back again. Like, if I had to choose one protein to drink the rest of my life, easy option. And then the other things I got, so, all right. So, shit. Alright, so, as you guys probably know, because I'm sure you've heard me talk about it enough, um, caffeine right now is like completely inessential. It's like not too much is getting done without caffeine. Right now, I have to be really conscious of the type of caffeine and when I'm drinking it because with me and with most people, but definitely with me, the crash from caffeine is inevitable. But it's taken me this prep to really realize that coffee is so much more subtle and sustains me so much longer throughout the day than like an energy drink does. And it's because there's two different types of caffeine. So. I try to only drink like a caffeinated drink, like an energy drink, um, once or twice a week, and then the rest of the, the rest of the days of the week, I'll just drink coffee because you know it. Like it gives me that energy and it keeps the energy throughout the day, but it's not as like it's not as like a much of a punch as one of these drinks are. But then every once in a while, like usually on the weekends when I want to have like an intense workout or just, you know, like really feel that, that caffeine kick in, I'll drink an energy drink. But my first and favorite one, the Silver 3D, so good. This is definitely my favorite flavor. And then this one's creeping up on the 3Ds with just like how much I like them. This the, and it's like a really new brand. I don't know if it's new, but they're definitely just like popping off recently. But it's the Alani New and then the Trippy Hippie flavor, which is like, I know the flavor's new and it's heat. It's basically like pina colada, which is so good. And then this one, I haven't tried this yet, but I've been meaning to. Bucked up. I haven't used their pre or their pump or anything, but I do know this has beta alanine in it. So this is more so like a pre-workout drink. Honestly, I'll probably drink this tomorrow on the way to the gym to hit back. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, while I was at GNC, I was like, I should really probably just get energy drinks so I don't have to do it later on in the week. Um, and yeah, I like to eat variety on deck, but also I got to keep in my own mind, like what source of caffeine I'm getting and when I'm getting it. Cause it could really fuck up my day if I'm not careful. But yeah, those are the goods. GNC, thanks for treating me well. All right, what's going on, guys? So it's actually Memorial Day, but I don't got to be at work till a lot later than usual. So me and Caden are actually about to link up and hit a back shoulder bicep workout. Um, man, I hate how cold it is. I know a part of it is because how lean I am, because when you get to these low levels of body fat, you're cold all the time. But like, dude, it's, it is May 31st and it's like, 48 degrees that shit is disgusting to me like one of the many reasons i can't wait to get out of indiana I'm about to try this right here so one thing i forgot to mention in the last clip is these 300 milligrams of caffeine energy drinks Ooh, they be they be doing it to me they smack me so what i'm gonna do to prevent myself from drinking the whole thing because I end up always drinking the whole damn thing when I know that I don't need no 300 milligrams of caffeine. I'm gonna go ahead and pour about a third of it out. Cause I mean, you can't, damn this shit smell good too. Can't really drink the whole thing if the whole thing isn't in there to begin with. And then, I mean, while I'm, while you guys are here with me, might as well get the first impression on the taste. All right. 
Here we go. It smells hella good. That was the first thing I noticed when I opened the can. I didn't even know energy drinks had a smell. All right. That's good. It tastes like um, that rain that I had a couple weeks ago, the fruit punch or whatever, which was heat. Yeah, this is good. The flavor is rocket pop. And I think this is supposed to be a thermogenic, which means it's going to kind of raise your body temperature, make you sweat a little bit. But uh, we are going to head to the gym. I'm going to hand the camera and talk to you guys a little bit more. But I'm hyped for this back workout. It's going to be a good one. I'll see you guys there. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir, we have arrived. What the fuck is he talking about? There we go, LA, bro. I don't think y'all understand how big of a deal it is that I got this man to come here. He refuses. I'm finna get copyrighted with that young boy in the back. He, he be refusing to come, but. Hey, I was just, I was just saying I can't believe that you're actually here. You'd never catch me in this place. In this shithole of a gym. In this barely upgraded Planet Fitness. Okay, this, this is, is, is crack. No, it's bucked up, bro. Uh, this is crack. I'm fucking geeked right now, for real. Energy drinks do not do that to me, ever. Like, so, never. You know how I used to say coffee does that to me? Yeah. Coffee doesn't do that to me anymore. Like, it does, but it doesn't. But energy drinks, because this is 300 milligrams. That bro, is a literally? lot. That's like I've never three, had that's like three enough. cups of coffee. Literally, it's through like three cups of coffee in one. Hi, what's going on, y'all? So we made it in here, and I don't usually lift this late in the day at this gym specifically. There's a lot of people here. Good thing we're not benching because trying to find a bench at LA Fitness isn't a thing during the day. You've got to be here like five in the morning. Got kind of like a custom workout that Alex sent me. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. I've done it before. Left me sore as shit the next day. And before I forget, we didn't make any tweaks to the plan this week. My body is very efficiently using the nutrients we're giving me. Still have high food compared to the, a lot of other competitors. And my cardio is staying the same at 40 minutes. Yeah, and then so I made the biggest jump throughout the week that I've made this whole prep. I lost 3.6 pounds, which is, I'm, I think, the biggest jump second to that was maybe like a pound and a half so like my body flew through some fat this week i think it was that huge jump in cardio that did it but that's enough talking we're gonna go ahead and get into this workout just demolish our backs let's get into it We're, going, we're taking basically every set, every movement to mechanical failure. And with that, I don't mean we're going past the point of having good form and just throwing up reps to throw them up. Basically what we're doing is as long as we can have perfect or damn near perfect form, we're just going till we exhaust the muscle. So like full contraction. And once it gets past to the point where I'm using way too much momentum or I'm just throwing around bullshit, I'm stopping. But we're keeping the training intensity very high, very short rest, and uh, overall just chasing a nasty pump today. All right, so we finished up the T-bar row. I had to put the sweatshirt back on immediately. At this point, there is no pump and I'm fucking freezing whenever I don't have a sweatshirt on in the gym, but like cold, no vascularity. So I'm gonna keep this on just to save myself some embarrassment of looking like a damn twig. <laughs> Until I'm going super heavy on a back movement. 
Taking your thumb out of the equation with really any pulling motion is going to engage your lats so much more opposed to having your whole wrist or your whole um, fist wrapped around the bar just because when you have your whole fist around it, you're getting a lot of bicep and forearm activation. Take that thumb out, you're going to feel a lat engagement that you have not felt if you haven't done that before. That's the number one tip that I would say to improve your mind-muscle connection in your back. When I get up, the motherfucker go kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, so we finished up that workout. We have been here way too long, dude. Uh, I hate that feeling when like you're fucking ready to get out the gym, but you still got more to do. But I'm doing a little bit of posing, so I don't have to come back later and do it. I already I'm gonna have to come back and do my cardio. But here is the most updated posing routine I got, and it is getting smoother. So. It's still that back to front transition that's fucking me up. Just getting like the, the, the hand placement is awkward for me, but it's, it's smoother than it's been the whole prep. So constant progression as always is what we're chasing. But I'm gonna pose for a little bit, get out of here, go to work, come back, do cardio. I will see you guys in the next clip. And as always, thank you for watching. All right, what's going on guys? So it's now two days after that workout and I've been just my back has been crushed by that workout I'm like I can't think I can't remember a workout this prep so far that I've had that my back has been this taxed like it's painful the whole thing because we went I mean we went basically everything to failure let me know what you guys think of sort of this more raw style of video there was very little editing that went into it kind of just compiled some clips together it is currently 18 days out but man these days are going by quick but then again they're not it's it's it's, it's really a roller coaster of energy and emotions every day um, just with the days counting down and trust me I am counting down the days but I'm excited and as always you know we got that hood up head down mentality where we are just working taking one day at a time which is all I can do right now but as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video where we will be two weeks out see y'all